Hi everyone, welcome to Imaging Study. Today we are going to see a case of caesarean scar endometriosis. A 30-year-old female patient came with a palpable lump in the right lateral part of the caesarean section scar with a history of pain. This pain increases during menstruation. She didn't give any history of discharge or any swelling during coughing. Let's see what we have got on ultrasound. Here you can see the high frequency ultrasound of the complaint site at the right lateral part of the scission section scar. You can see at the level of subcutaneous layer there is a heterogeneously hypoechoic area. There are some echogenic central components also. You can see some posterior acoustic shadowing from this part. There is no surrounding definite architectural distortion or any definite anechoic collection. Let's change the preset and now on different preset you can still see the lesion with an irregular margin with some internal echogenic areas within the whole hypoechoic lesion. The deeper muscular layer looks quite normal but you can use the low frequency transducer to see the detail of the deeper structures which is important to exclude hernia. Let's put some color Doppler and on color Doppler you can see there is no prominent vascularity. You can only see some vascularity here and there in the peripheral part. Make sure these are artifacts. Here we have taken a sample from the peripheral vascular flow and you can see a monophasic flow there. Here's the picture of the lesion. It approximately measures 2 cm in length. Now a very good differential should be the hernia and here we are trying to see the lesion with curvilinear transducer with low frequency and you can see the deeper structures look completely normal from this view with no definite herniation. The lesion is confined within the subcutaneous layer. Here is the picture and you can see the lesion over here with intact posterior muscular layer. So in summary, an irregular heterogeneously hypoechoic area with some internal echogenic components is seen at the right lateral part of the scission section scar and confined within the subcutaneous layer. Color Doppler shows only some peripheral vascularity. So this feature is concluded as a case of caesarean section scar endometriosis. Now the take home message, there will be so many differentials like foreign body granuloma, herniation and so many things, there might be some muscular tumors also. So to achieve a definitive diagnosis, histopathology in this case is mandatory. On histopath, you may see endometrial type glands, endometrial type stroma and or, or hemosiderin laden macrophages. To say it as endometriosis, any two of these three components should be present. Thank you for watching this video. Don't forget to subscribe our YouTube channel and try to follow us on other social platforms. We are trying to post case videos regularly, so don't forget to check our channel every day. If you find this video helpful, don't forget to share it with your friends also. See you on the next one. Have a nice day.